What we're going to do in this segment is we're going to show you how to bind the radio to the breadboard air. Now the breadboard air ship with a an FR Sky receiver in them. All these receivers will be the same, so the process will be the same on this side. Um, the receive uh, the transmitter we're going to use today is the Tyrannus QX7. This is the one that we typically use for our, our use here, and uh, it will probably be the one that you receive if you get a full set with the transmitter included. Different transmitters will have different ways of binding, so you probably going to want to go to your manual for your particular transmitter in order to see what how, how it binds but we're going to show you today how to do it on the Tyrannus QX7 so let's get to it all right so the first thing you need to do is make sure that your your battery is fully charged because you don't want it to give out while you're doing the binding uh, that wouldn't be a good thing so what you want to do is you want to take a Phillips screwdriver and you're going to remove the two screws on the back plate. Now depending on whether you have the power option or not this back plate will either be blank or it'll have this connector on it. So let's remove these two screws and what you're gonna have right inside here is a receiver. It might take a little bit to work it out of there depending on how you're set up. So what you're gonna see on here there's a little button right underneath the antenna connector. So what you're going to do is you're going to press this button in and you'll hear a little, you'll, it, it has a little tactile feel to it. So you'll hear and you'll feel a little a little click as you're pushing it in. And I usually use my, my thumbnail to do that. Uh, you'll probably be in a different uh, position than I am here. So this will probably be easier for you, but just plug in the battery while you're holding in that button. So as you plug in the battery, you'll hear all of that, and then you'll see the LED go red and green. So once you have that red and green LED lit up, you're ready to go to your radio and do the next step to bind it. So if you got the full setup uh, when you ordered it, QX7, uh, as we discussed before, it comes with it. So what you're going to do on the QX7 is you're going to go through your menu, select your model, pressing enter. So that one's already selected. So, uh, But if it wasn't, this would be what it looks like. Just select. Uh, for this one, we're going to select Indigo since this is the model that we want to use. Just press page and then you're gonna use the scroll to go all the way down to and it's a ways down there so you're gonna see RX num at the left side so press enter there select channel 1 through 8 to lem 1 or to lem on and then you're gonna see that it's gonna have that tone going. What you'll see on your receiver is the green LED will go away. You'll get a blue LED and a flashing red. So that means that the transmitter found the receiver and now they are both bound. So now you can just exit there, exit, exit, exit all the way out. And you should be in your model. You'll see the display for the uh, the telemetry for the model and that's it for this part now you can close her back up okay now the radio should be bound to the receiver and you should be good to go as soon as you close everything back up and I'd like you to go into the uh, description down below we have a link to the Indiegogo campaign for our breadboard air the Indigo version so just go down there click on that go see the campaign also if you have any comments that, uh, on anything that you would like to see concerning the breadboard air, please include them down below.